हेलो व्हाट्स अप बड़ी दिस इज कृष्णा मशिस्ट एंड यू आर लिसनिंग टू मी ऑन योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल टैट्स ग्रू इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब द चैनल सो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल बिकॉज हियर यू विल गेट टू कंटेंट्स ऑल टुगेदर वन इज रिगार्डिंग योर स्पोकन इंग्लिश सेकेंड इज योर सी डी पी यू मस्ट वंडरिंग वट इज सी डी पी सी डी पी मीन चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट एंड पैडागोजी ओके सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट योर स्पोकन इंग्लिश इफ यू आर हियर इफ यू आर ऑन माई चैनल टैट्स ग्रू चैनल सो आई एम फॉर यू आई एम इंग्लिश टीचर एंड आई एम फॉर यू टू इम्प्रूव यू इन इन द जर्नी ऑफ योर स्पोकन इंग्लिश एंड इफ यू आर बिगिनर डोंट वरी डोंट वरी बरी बिकॉज यू आर एट द राइट प्लेस ओके सो एट दिस प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफनली आई मेक वीडियो एंड आई अपलोड दैम आई अपलोड जस्ट फॉर यू ओके सो दिस वीडियो इज अनदर दिस इज अदर वीडियो एंड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट स्पोकन इंग्लिश एज आई सेड अर्लियर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट सिंपल फ्यूचर टेंस this is part first and uh, we will discuss definition rule and examples okay and this is one of the simplest tense you know we oftenly use uh, so many sentences in our day to day life on the basis of simple future tense or you can say simple indefinite tense so without wasting any time let's get started so guys here we will discuss definition as i said the simple future tense what is simple future tense you know when we speak this you know we think about it what is simple future tense simple future tense it is used when an action is promised okay and thought to occur in the future you know in the future the time after now this is very important just understand this concept you know anything you want to do after 5 minutes anything you want to do after 1 hour you want to do anything after tomorrow day after tomorrow next day that all examples you know those all examples are simple future tense you know and uh, this is the definition anything just anything you promised anything you thought to be occur and that will be in future you know when i when i said that will in future so i'm using will have you observed so this is simple future tense and this is one of the simplest tense you know who oftenly we use it and uh, we have many ways to uh, express ourselves when whenever it comes to it comes to explain future action you know future action so we can uh, speak on the basis of uh, going to phrase you know i'm going to do this uh, this is one of the thing that we will explain for the next day and the second thing uh, of course we have tense you know simple future tense this is simple future tense and this is the definition i told you so please if you have any confusion you can ask me anytime you can comment in comment box definitely i'll give reply second thing let me explain its frame rule okay and its frame rule is very simple uh, we write a uh, subject here plus will only one auxiliary verb we have sometime we use shall sometime we use will okay there is a there is a differentiation also you know Uh, but most of the time you know we also we we can use will okay there is no issue sometimes there is special examples where we will have to use shall but most of the time you know if you are using will that's okay subject plus will and verb first form then object this is very simple rule you know we don't need to take care about you know which will come verb first form second form third form uh, there will be a verb first form and uh, there will be a single auxiliary verb which is called will subject whatever the subject first person second person third person that will be okay you know i will you will she will it will and they will we will so whatever the subjects you know we don't need to take tension 
regarding subject which subject is going to combined with will always will uh, will come auxiliary verb single auxiliary verb that's okay if you have any problem you can ask me and uh, please uh, watch this video till then because this video will give you strength whenever it comes to speak on the basis of simple future tense because this is one of the simplest tense and uh, this is the only platform where you will get qualitative videos regarding spoken english as well as cdp cdp means child development and pedagogy so here uh, i'm just going to bring some important examples so please go through the example and uh, there will be two language one is hindi Hindi will own left side and uh, English will own right side. So, uh, whenever uh, you have chance to see uh, Hindi translation, you can see that. And uh, here, here we go. Now, this is the Hindi translation on the left side, and this will be the English translation. We shall finish our work in five days. You know. Uh, the, the particular action is going to be happen in next five days we shall finish our work in five days as i told you we can also use will okay there is no hard and fast rule uh, that we will have to use shall in some cases or we will have to use will in some cases uh, you can also use will here we will finish our work in five days we will finish our work in five days whatever you write guys just try to speak five times six times and if you are beginner just try to speak a sentence ten times okay because when you will do that you you will uh, give time you will uh, give time to your tongue and your your tongue will uh, you know get familiar uh, with english translation as well because sometime we face problem to speak english words so by speaking again and again that will uh, make you comfortable we shall or not we will finish our work in five days okay next sentence you will learn your lesson in the next period you will learn your lesson in the next period you know sometime uh, you know few guys they use uh, shall with first person you know what are the first person i is the first person and we is the first person so sometime we use shall with first person you know you must have heard you must or must not have heard basically i shall we shall you know most of the people make their sentence like this i shall we shall but guys this is the formal way but you can use also will here there is no problem as i'm saying you will learn your lesson in the next period we will finish our work in five days you will learn your lesson in the next period you will learn your lesson in the next period you will learn your lesson in the next period okay guys next we will move he will go to allahabad tomorrow 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 he will go to delhi tomorrow he will go to mumbai tomorrow he will go to calcutta tomorrow i will go to see my friend tomorrow morning i will go to see my friend tomorrow morning or you can say i shall go to see my friend tomorrow morning i shall go to see my friend tomorrow morning because i is a first person or we is also a first person so as i as i said first person you can use shall okay but if you are using will there is no issue not an issue at all you can use it i shall go to see my friend tomorrow morning next sentence the school will close for summer vacation from tomorrow the school will close for summer vacation from tomorrow the school will close for summer vacation from tomorrow the school will close for summer vacation from tomorrow okay guys try to get the concept of the sentences because you will find that if you trying 
to get concept if you are trying hard you will get that definitely because this is one of the simplest and this is this is very easy task okay to make sentence on the basis of simple past tense uh, there is a no rocket science okay you can make it because all you will have to use i plus will or subject subject may be anything i you we will they you know i we they he she it first person second person third person i hope you are getting all things first person plus verb auxiliary verb will plus verb first form i will eat i will go i will run i will read i will watch match okay so there are a lot of thing that you if you have plan anything you know that will that will occur in future definitely you uh, will have to use will to express yourself okay and how can you express yourself just know the frame rule subject plus will plus verb first form then plus object this is very simple guys okay the school will close for summer vacation from tomorrow the school will close for summer vacation from tomorrow next and uh, whenever it comes to uh, make a negative sentence you can see on uh, the left side as well as on the right side we'll use a not there is a contraction form also short form i i would say i will not go to there tomorrow i will not go there tomorrow i will not go there tomorrow okay and uh, if you want to use contracted form contraction form so you can use like i want go there tomorrow very simple guys i want go there tomorrow simple i want will not uh, becomes want this is contracted form this is contraction form okay so let me rub it whatever i wrote on the screen otherwise uh, that would make you distracted okay next uh, i will not go there tomorrow you will not tell a lie you will not tell a lie you will not tell a lie he shall get service tomorrow or you can say he will get service tomorrow he will get uh, he will get service tomorrow he will get service tomorrow there are uh, there's so many rules guys okay so i just uh, you know recommend you i request you please don't go for rules because when whenever you will think about rules you cannot speak english simple if you are using shall and other person they are using a will to express same sentence both will catchable you know people will get whatever you speak you know if you are speak shall if you are speak will definitely you are going to understand others you are going to make understand others okay definitely they will catch you if you are using shall or if you are using will there is nobody who can stop you okay trust me okay so whenever uh, you know whatever you use shall or will both will okay he shall get service tomorrow he shall get service tomorrow because our main aim main aim is that to speak english okay this video is more regarding towards spoken english okay so my focus is speak english if i'll think about english grammar always i cannot speak english or you cannot speak english nobody can uh, nobody uh, can speak english if they are thinking about english grammar so whatever if they uh, if you are using shall or if you are using will both will okay in spoken english okay he shall get service tomorrow he shall get service tomorrow or if i would say uh, i would have said like this i will get service tomorrow and that also would have okay okay so next i will go to picture tomorrow i will go to the picture tomorrow i will go to the picture tomorrow i will go to the picture tomorrow you you will always try to be good you will always try to be good but most of the time i prefer will not shall okay i will always try to be good 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 i will work hard to buy new brand car for next year
ओके यू विल ऑलवेज ट्राई टू बी गुड यू विल ऑलवेज ट्राई टू बी गुड ओके सो नाउ गाइज इट्स टाइम टू मेक सम नेगेटिव सेंटेंस इज ऑल्सो एंड यू नो दैट हाउ कैन आई मेक अ नेगेटिव सेंटेंस इनफैक्ट हाउ डू वी मेक अ नेगेटिव सेंटेंस जस्ट प्लेसिंग ऑक्जेलरी वर्ब इन फ्रंट ऑफ द सेंटेंस ओके सो वी हैव सिंगल ऑक्जेलरी वर्ब टूडे सो वी विल यूज फॉर दैट विल वी लर्न टू राइट अ साइकिल विल वी लर्न टू राइट अ साइकिल विल ही गो अलोन विल ही गो अलोन विल यू डाइन विद मी विल यू डाइन विद मी विल माई सिस्टर ज्वाइन कॉलेज दिस ईयर विल माई सिस्टर ज्वाइन कॉलेज दिस ईयर विल आई गो देयर अलोन विल आई गो देयर अलोन विल आई गो देयर अलोन I will go to Delhi tomorrow. I will go to Delhi tomorrow. I will go there tomorrow. I will go there tomorrow. I will come there tomorrow. I will come there tomorrow. I will read it. Please give me that book. I will read it. Please give me that book. I will read it. Please go slow. Please go slow. otherwise i will run please go slow otherwise i will run please go slow otherwise i will run just try to make some uh, some object here guys and just combine your simple future tense with that okay so guys you will find that is very simple 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 tense you know what i'm talking about basically simple future tense all just we concentrate on subject plus auxiliary verb plus verb first form then object comes so how did you find this video session guys please tell me if you have any confusion i'm telling you again and again just write your comment in comment box definitely i will see your comment and i'll give you a reply for the same thank you very much guys for watching this video session and uh, we just me we will meet in next video session till then thank you bye and see you again thank you guys